Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for VideoCopilot.net and welcome back to another very exciting tutorial. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our new plugin, Color Vibrance. And the best part is that it's free. So, what it does is makes it easy to add a nice splash of colorization that has that nice, hot, intense, vibrant look. All right, so this may not be the most exciting plugin in the world, but I will tell you, we put a lot of work into this color algorithm. And we also added some really cool features that will make this plugin part of your daily routine. So give me a couple minutes and let me show you how it works. Now, originally it was designed to work with our Shockwave stock footage pack, which is all pre-matted. So what that means is that it has a black background and the particle effects are basically white. Now, there's no alpha channel. So we wanted to create a tool that would make it easy to colorize your effects and add an alpha channel. So Here's the color vibrance effect. So we drop that right onto our footage and right away we get a nice bright colorization. We can go through, we can change the color here. Now, depending on the color you select, you're going to see some really nice intense saturation. So we can kind of go through here. We saw the green. It's got nice yellows and deep greens on the outside. We can come down here to sort of like this warm, fiery look. And what's great about this is that you can really see the more red and then in the inside you have a little bit more yellow that really makes it pop. So this is a really fast way to add colorization. Now to compare this, so I want to show you typically how you might colorize something. It's always good to know multiple ways to do something. So if I wanted to give this a nice warm colorization, I might come in here, add a curves adjustment, go to the red channel, turn up the red channel, go to the blue channel, turn the blue channel down. So this is getting us close. And then I would go to the green channel and punch that up a little bit and give it like a contrast curve. So a little bit of work to get that one color. And, and this looks great for sure. And you have more customization over how it works. Uh, all that stuff is great. But with VC Color Vibrance, we try to make that all one click. So you just have to select the hue and it will sort of automatically create those intense colors. Now, you might be thinking, why not use a hue and saturation or some of these other tricks? Well, this is not a bad way to colorize also. So we turn on colorize, turn up the saturation. The only problem with the hue and saturation is it's going to select a very specific color. So you're only getting one color. And so you're not going to be able to see those deep orange colors mixed with those bright yellow colors like real fire. So the hue and saturation doesn't quite have that same kick. All right, so let's just get rid of that and we'll turn on our color vibrance. You can really see the difference. And what's cool about it is that it works with almost all the main kind of primary colors. Like this is great. You get some nice bright kind of pinks, but then you also have these nice violets, these deep kind of blues almost. Let's cancel that. So let's just go over the settings really quick. So we have our vibrance. This is going to kind of control the intensity a bit, but it's not like your typical intensity. So you get a little bit more of a richer color, but it's going to change the hue slightly just because of the contrast. Now we've got the preserved luminance, brightness, gamma. This is kind of your typical stuff. You got your brightness. Gamma is cool. You can kind of add some nice contrast to these elements. Let's go and reset that, and I'll show you these other two. So we have invert. So this is going to switch the colorization around and uh, you know we can get kind of close to that and see what that looks like. Really nice. So the other thing that we can do is we can mat the element. So we can turn this on to say on and it will unmultiply the background. So this is going to be a really fast way to automatically just create some transparency. Now you can turn that off and just set the transfer mode to screen and that will blend as well. But it's nice because when you set it to screen, you sometimes lose certain parts of your image. So being able to stay in the normal mode and have a nice alpha channel is helpful. There's also a boost alpha here as well, just to kind of give you a little bit more. Now, if we invert it, things might look a little bit interesting, but watch this. If you use a light colored background, so let me just switch this to like blue. If you use a light colored background, the invert option will actually make sense. So it might look like a fringe, but uh, it's intended that way so that you actually get to maintain some of those light colors that you would otherwise lose. All right, so pretty cool, but let me show you a few other examples. So recently we had a tutorial on this solar flare, the sort of sun effect, 
And here's the final result that we came up with. And if you've watched the tutorial, you know that uh, you know it took a little bit of time to get that colorization right. Well, what we can do is I'm just going to add a tint effect on top, right? Color Vibrance works best when there's no color data in the back. So we'll tint out the color and we'll turn on the color vibrance effect. So right away we get a nice intense colorization. But watch how easy it is to find that nice hot warm color. So here we go. Right there we got this nice yellow. We got the nice deep rich reds. And you know we can increase the vibrance if we want to. And of course we can change that up to you know any number of colors and still come away with a nice result. We also have another tutorial on creating some various kind of audio keyframe animations and that is the uh, advanced spin effects tutorial. And there's some cool techniques in there that we use and some different colorization techniques. Well, we're actually using the color vibrance effect to create all of the different colorization for these particular elements. So in the tutorial, we design them just black and white and we're using the VC color vibrance to add that nice splash of color. Now, same thing here, we've got this uh, mixed shockwave element. We've got the transfer mode set to screen on a few of these and uh, they're just kind of blending together with the shockwaves and uh, we've created a nice kind of hybrid look. It also works great with particular. So if we look here, we've got some particles that uh, are just black and white. And the thing about particular is it actually does create an alpha channel. So we can see here there's no black matting in the background. So when we apply the color vibrance effect, turn the background off, the image might appear to get a little bit darker. So what you want to do is fill the empty background. And then we'll add a black background color. And then what you can do is turn the matte alpha back on and create the transparency again but with that nice colorization so we can come in here tweak the color a bit maybe even play around with the gamma and the brightness so it really kind of pops now we could probably get a similar result using particulars transfer modes and color but the problem is that when you change the color then you have to lower the opacity and you're always tweaking the values to try to get that right color when here now you can do it as a post process and always just be working on that colorization and change it up and, and since you're doing it after the render you don't have to re-render all those particles as well. So it's really nice and uh, should speed things up quite a bit. Alright so to illustrate why I love this plugin so much I've got two layers here both with a fractal noise. The bottom one has a fractal noise with the color vibrance effect that's this one and the top layer has a fractal noise with a curves adjustment to create the colorization. So they look pretty similar but the look is actually not what's important here. Let me show you what happens when I add a mask to this area of the fractal noise. So watch this. I'm going to hit F, feather this out, and if we look closely you can see the most irritating thing you've ever seen which is white fading out and turning gray. Can you see that? The white fades out and turns gray. My colorization is lost. It looks terrible. Now, if I take the color vibrance effect, so I'll take this ellipse tool and I'll draw a shape around this point here. Zoom in, hit F, and we'll feather it out a bit. Now, notice the difference here. The color is fading out and actually getting darker rather than in the previous example where the color is just, I don't know what it's doing. And of course, remember, you can add effects before and after the color vibrance effect. We got a couple glows here, and we could do the vibrance after it, and that creates kind of a cool look. We can even add a red element as well. I've got this one set to screen, so that way they kind of blend together. I've also got the advanced lightning effect and uh, I have it set to composite on original and I'm using a black solid here. Got a glow and just have the optical flares creating the point there. But the uh, vibrance color, so we've got, here's the result here, color vibrance and uh, really creates a nice look that uh, doesn't require a bunch of adjustments and it's easy to copy and paste it 
between multiple projects. Oh, and I remember one other cool feature is that if you have your element and you don't want to do any colorization, you just want to extract an alpha channel, what you can do is set the matte alpha to only and it'll just create an alpha channel from your element. So let me give you an example. Like I have this whole design here and I want to just take it all, pre-compose it, and I can take the color vibrance, drop it on there, and instead of doing the colorization, I can just set the matte alpha to only. And now I have uh, alpha channel with all the elements. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy the new plugin. It is free, and you can download it from videocopilot.net. And, of course, we want to thank everyone who helped support the website to uh, allow us to make this happen. All of our customers and, you know, everyone who's purchased our plugins and our stock footage and our design tools. Thank you guys very much, and uh, we look forward to keep doing this in the future. I'm Andrew Kramer, and we will see you next time.